Welcome back. The Super Bowl is something that most people actually sit and watch the commercials for. The companies are rolling out their big game day ads, and it's a star-studded affair with celebrities promoting everything from snacks to laundry detergent to Internet service. CNN's Ivan Rodriguez previews what we'll see during the breaks on the game on Sunday. Popcorners are breaking bad. What are these? We call them popcorners. Say their name. Doritos are feeding a paparazzi frenzy. Is it true about the love triangle? Maybe. Baby! You having a baby? And M&Ms are going in a shocking new direction. What does the world really want? Clams. This year's supersized Super Bowl ads seem to have a little something for everyone. Tell me more, tell me more. It's the one day of the year that people aren't running in the opposite direction of the ads. With viewership likely to be over 100 million, advertisers can make big gains by catching eyes during the big game. But with a 30 second spot going for $7 million, running an ad can also be a big gamble. It's going to be maybe 60 commercials. We'll probably talk about 10 of them on Monday. So there's a big risk there. If early previews are any indication, the big feature in this year's ads. Celebrities, celebrities, celebrities. Major companies are banking on superstars to get that post-Super Bowl buzz. Hello, I'm Sarah McLaughlin. Diddy don't do jingles. Glennon says the most impactful ads, however, don't have to be star-studded. The key to success is creating a conversation. That's going to be a big win, and absolutely, this Super Bowl is a great way to do that. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting.